Hello. Okay, cool. So, um, I had this like really cool understanding of how like a certain kind of mental model building worked in the past couple weeks. And I'm kind of bored. I'm driving from uh, LA to SF right now on my mini trips. And so it felt like a good idea to just pull over and try to exp and try to explain it. Because uh, it, 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 it's kind of um, an interesting one. I think I might do more with it in the next couple weeks. Um, okay, so basically there's a question in biology of like how you think about it and how you get better at thinking about it. And I think the baseline model most people have for thinking about biology is let's take a textbook of biology, open it up to a random page and like absorb information. And that like to study biology basically means to like read a lot of um, facts about it and then kind of just store those facts w like with some loose graphing between them. Um, and then maybe like when you're more advanced, like you read papers, and that basically means just like that you build the skill of like interpreting data and kind of like asking questions about the experiment, and um, linking you know all the information in the paper back to your existing graph. And I think one thing that I've kind of realized more recently has been that there's like a different kind of way of thinking about biology that I, I think is equally useful, more so in some ways potentially, um, very fun, like just extraordinarily interesting to do. Um, and, and kind of that I hadn't really learned about in college, but that kind of comes out a little bit naturally, I think, if you start to um, think about it more or more in different ways. And so I just want to describe what this is um, in a way and, and see if anyone else has experienced like this way of working with biology to see if it makes sense. Okay, so here's what it is. Um, basically, there's like... You know, so Einstein talked about you know thought experiments like in Dinkin, and I think this is basically that for but for biology and and kind of the way that I would do it if I were like trying to do this thing um, to to think about a biological concept is um, I I I almost like like what I the, the reason I started doing this is is, is like uh, I I I think much of thinking in offices like it was very hard to think in an office and and then I realized like if I just went by myself in a room I could think very well and, like what I was doing that I couldn't do in an office that I was embarrassed to do was like work with my hands like I, I was using my hands to kind of like load concepts from memory, um, to kind of like initialize workspaces, to kind of like um, uh, manipulate concepts and like uh, my, and, and I would view them spatially, like I, I I couldn't see a full like object in front of me, but I had the idea that it was there. And so when I was thinking about it in my mind, I would kind of like hold it in front of me and kind of like manipulate it um, with my hands sometimes like while I was thinking about it. And I think this allowed me to, to, um, to think in a more focused way um, very, very well. So it really forces you to like render an object and you hold it in memory so your focus is like very acute. Um, I, it, it kind of um, held my attention more so I wasn't just as distracted because I had like something that I was dealing with and playing with. It really helped with working memory because I was like spatially placing objects from biology concepts, ideas like in a space in front of me. And so when, like, when I left and returned back to an object, like I physically kind of like looked here and then looked here and then like looked back here leave and return to it. Um, and then also I think it really helped build like a world in which to ask questions. So for example, in this mode of like thinking, um, I, I, I naturally ask like just really much more um, different questions than I think I would ask are just like following a chain of logic that I got from an average textbook. And so um, let, let, let's give an example to make this more con concrete. Um, say I'm curious about uh, something or say, say, I, say I want to induce my curiosity about something. Um, so I would like um, <laughs> you know, have you ever seen like uh, Iron Man? Like the way that I view visualize it, like when he like initializes his workspace, like his AR workspace in like the 3D world. Like that's what it kind of like. I feel that I am trying to like believe that I am doing like in my, in my mind when I do this. So it's like initialize your workspace, and then I like load a concept from working memory. So like I load like you care about cell, and I'd see it in front of me, and I wouldn't see a cell itself. Like I obviously don't have like that number of pixels like in resolution in my mind to be able to like see the cell, but I'd have the idea that it was there. I'd see some kind of like gray sphere. Um, and then I kind of like open it up and start to like manipulate it. So like when I'm like looking at this like cell, um, I'm kind of like looking around at it. I'm a first question that I might ask is like, uh, for example, you know, like how much mass is taken up by like mitochondria in a cell? Or kind of like if I were you know more curious, I'd be like, well, how like how many like ATP is made by this cell per like minute or something? Or like how many um, complex proteins are there you know, in a, a mitochondrial membrane in, in the cell? And like kind of the way like the reason that I start to ask questions about this is I would kind of like open up the cell and I'd like zoom into the mitochondria and so like I'd be in the mitochondria like looking around and kind of like viewing what was going on there and the point of this is that you can't cheat like a cheating thing to do would be to say like I'm in the mitochondria right now I see it therefore I understand it no instead you have to be like okay well, I'm here like what don't I see like what what is hard to like resolve and for example like I'll just start narrating things that like are I'm in the mitochondria now like, oh whoops sorry 
uh, okay, well, just continue. Uh, th these are hard to see. It's kind of like, okay, well, what's the average spacing between like the membranes? What's the size of a lipid compared to like a complex protein? Um, you know, if I, if I look around, like how dense is it? Like, you know, like how many different ions are there? Are there different ions in the mitochondria than there are like in the cell? Um, you know, if, if, if I kind of like, you know, sort of look further, where is the DNA exactly? Is it just floating around? Like, could it bump into like the, the side? Kind of like, where is it located? Like, how is it anchored? Like, how is it moving? Um, how the different things like interact with each other? Like, how fast are things moving around the mitochondria? So you're going to start to like generate all these questions about like, like as your brain starts, tries to render the mitochondria around you, you have to answer these like quantitative questions about the mitochondria. Um, and so I think I'll put up a separate video where I actually like walk through an example Gedenken of like, like trying to ask a question like for example, um, you know like how how many uh, like complex proteins are there in total in a cell, and like basically like calculating that by like starting with the constant of like say how much like O2 or CO2 you intake or like exhale per minute and like like literally like walking through like a full physiological process to like get to that number um but I think for now like well I'll just kind of maybe try to end on our ties back because I think that might be yeah that might be too confusing if I, if I don't think about pre-planning that well would be that there's kind of a last thing here which is like that your units have to be good units so there's this wonderful so Nima Arkhani Hamed is like the best physicist ever there's this wonderful talk that he has um where he talks about like why units matter and like why units are important and one of the concepts here is this idea of um like that when you try to think about something you think about it in the unit and so when i think about a cell radius like naively what i think is like oh like you know 10 to the minus 10 uh, or sorry not 10 to the minus 10 like uh, like 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 on the order of microns right which is like 10 to the minus 6 meters and i was like what the heck does it have to do with anything like a meter is like an arbitrary thing like about this big how can i use this meter object to like understand a cell like it's ridiculous to use this like ginormous like giant like thing to like you know reason out something that's like you know there i have trillions of um, and so I would change that to be like in the like atom scale. So like say an atom is like on the scale of like 10 to the minus 10. So then you, you, you switch it around to say, okay, um, 10 to the minus six microns, 10 to the minus, you know, 10 atoms. So it's like 10 to the four is the difference between the two. So like, like, it's like the, or like, it's like, so the cell, like the cell diameter meter of like, you know, a small shell is like in the order of like 10 to the four atoms. And then it just, it, it's way easier to visualize, right? That's surprising to the four atoms. Like I can imagine that amount, like the, you know, approximately the amount of people that are like in a stadium uh, at a soccer game at one point in time, which kind of like gives you something to hold on to. So I'll just like put a pin in like that. I think like the, if you want to mentally model things, and I'm not saying it's useful, I'm just saying it's like kind of fun and interesting, I think it like, helps like hold concepts in memory. Um, changing the units in which you store quantities can help bring much more meaning to your life as you can do these quantities. And if you're curious about this, I'm gonna post a link in the description to this uh, video um, to Nima Arkani Hamed's talk. But anyway, sorry I am randomly making this video in a car. I was just really excited about this idea and wanted to share it with someone um, and this seemed like a good vehicle to do that. So thanks.